are patients monitored for a recurrence? And, and are there approaches to help prevent a recurrence? Sure, absolutely. Great question. It is important to, to continue monitoring patients even after they've gone through treatment. Um, so I think of it as a multifaceted approach. Usually it includes um, office visits, including a physical exam. It includes a thorough intake of all of their symptoms. Um, it also includes, depending on the scenario, in some circumstances, regular imaging studies, such as a CT scan or MRI. And sometimes we also do things like PET scans, okay? And I think that does have to be tailored to the unique patient's endometrial cancer, you know, unique case, stage, histology, and we kind of tailor which tests we choose to do. Um, the interval of monitoring can vary. So I would say, generally speaking, it could be anywhere from three to six month visits and with potentially added scans as we talked about. And sometimes we also do certain blood tests in certain cases where we may choose to follow like a CA-125 blood tumor marker. Um, but I would say that there are different, definitely variants to how we choose to monitor. And there are certain resources we tend to use, such as the NCCN guidelines that, um, you know, providers may reference and sometimes you may even share with the patients about, you know, to, to explain, you know, why and how we choose to do the monitoring. Mm -hmm.